Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I will be sharing with you five simple steps which you need to follow if you want an A or an A star. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. And as always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and do share this video with your friends, classmates, whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. Now let's get straight into it. So the first step is that you should be focusing on concepts rather than memorizing. Now, what a lot of students do is they have this approach, which I like to call if this, then that approach. So what that means is that if you have this, this, and this in the question, that means you do this, this, and that. Okay, now this barely works in maths because we're not memorizing here. So this might work in out of 10, let's say seven questions, okay? In fact, not even seven, I would say out of 10, maybe five questions. So this approach might work 50% of the time, but 50% of the time, you gotta make sure that what you're counting on is not on your memory, but rather on your concepts. So whenever you are presented with a concept, do not try and memorize it, try and go deeper, try and see where the concept is coming from, where the formula is coming from. So what that will do is that will help you understand it better. And once you have a solid understanding of it, then you can solve whatever question there is that you're presented with. Step number two is make sure that you do past papers, okay? Now, I cannot emphasize how important this is. A lot of times students come to me and they tell me that they're not doing well in math. And when I sort of dig deeper and peel away, uh, to understand what the reason is, it turns out that they didn't practice past papers. Now, doing questions from the book is very important, okay? It helps you, it sort of takes you step by step, concept by concept. But once you're done with the whole topic, make sure that you solve past papers. Step number three is focus on the basics. Now, a lot of times when parents come to me, they have this uh, this simple request is that, uh, you know, work on the basics of my child. And it's understandable because if you have a weak foundation, if your basics are weak, then uh, you can't uh, understand the complex uh, concepts. So for example, if your arithmetic is weak, okay, if you don't know your way with percentages, ratios and all that, then you can't do complex topics such as interest, simple interest, compound interest, and just like, that if your basic geometry is weak then you can't do complex topics such as menstruation where you're presented with such complex shapes and you have to work out the volume and surface area so all in all you could say that there are four major areas in maths you know arithmetic there's geometry there's algebra and there's statistics okay so make sure that uh, before you deal with a complex topic make sure that your basics or whatever it is whatever the prerequisites of that topic are those are in line and you have those well covered before you take on that complex topic. Step number four is don't waste too much time trying to find the perfect strategy. Now, this is something I like to call analysis paralysis. This is something that we all suffer from at different levels. You know, even when I have to learn a new skill, I try to think of, you know, the perfect strategy. I try to divide my time. But honestly, sometimes the best way is the old fashioned way. Okay, so if you want to learn math, don't look for the perfect strategy. Just pick up a book, decide a concept that you're going to cover, watch videos on it, and just start putting in the hours. You know, just start grinding, and uh, gradually you'll get the hang of it. You'll start picking up concepts, and you know, you know the way to go about it. First, do concepts from the book, and then do past papers. But please, this is something that I get asked a lot. You know, especially towards the end of the ex uh, I mean, not towards the end, but like especially when the exams are really close, students come up to me and ask me, what is the perfect strategy? You know, how many past should I be doing? And how many topics should I be covering in a day? How many hours should I be giving to math? You know, that's that's all BS, honestly. Just pick up a book. If you really want to do well, just pick up a book and start studying. We can pick up a concept and start studying, start putting in the hours, and you will see that the results will start to show, inshallah, very soon. A lot of times, Students have this thing that they work hard for a single test and they don't get the result that they were hoping for and they think that it's just not their thing, okay? It's just not possible for them to do well in it. You know, that is honestly not the case. The thing with math is that you need to give it some time. The results will show. Just make sure that you're putting in the required effort and do not expect you know, that you're gonna turn into an A-star student overnight, that is not gonna happen, let me assure you. But gradually, slowly but surely, you will see the change that you're looking for, you will see improvement. You just have to be patient and you just have to be consistent. And uh, if you consistently put in efforts, definitely, definitely the results will speak for itself. So that's it. So these are the five steps that you need to follow. And if you follow these five steps, inshallah, inshallah, 
you will get the grade that you're aiming for, which like I said, hopefully is an A or an A star. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.